hey guys welcome back to my channel yes sis is looking a mess but that's okay we're gonna get her together right now i am getting ready to spray my hair with water it just makes it more manageable and way more easier to style when my hair is saturated with water and you know hey can't do crap a ponytail with crunchy hair okay <laughs> um so right now i'm getting ready to section my hair off into a smaller ponytail making it way more easier for me to um put my whole hair into a ponytail and excuse the noise in the background my neighbors decided to cut a tree on a day that sis was making a voiceover so just excuse that <laughs> so you want to get your hair into a ponytail just like i'm doing it now um, if you have long hair, you won't have to really do this unless you want your hair to be really, really slick, I guess. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's optional. And also, I know my hair looks a little white. That's just the products that I had in the day before. And the water just, hey, showed it. So, don't judge. <laughs> I didn't want to wash my hair today because I'm putting a lot of gel in my head. So, it defeats the purpose of washing it. So now I am getting ready to section my hair off into three, no fours, um, the front, the sides, and the back, um, giving me, you know, um, an easier way to, you know, I guess, uh, put my hair back into a ponytail. And it's easier to, you know, like slick everything down, whereas you have to do all of it together and then struggle to put it in a ponytail. It's just too much, okay? So section it off is just so much easier for me. So the gel combo I'm using is Gorilla Snot and the original Eco Styler Gel. I know a lot of people are really um, against Gorilla Snot, but honestly, it really works for my hair. Like, it has my ponytail so slick. I mean, like, people always ask about what gels do I use to make my ponytails, and I use those gels combos. So if you have a gel combo... Please comment that below because I would like to see what gel combos a lot of people use. Because I used to use the Edge Wax and Eco Styler. So, I don't know. Comment that below what gel that you prefer to use. So, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Spraying it, detangling it with my dimming brush um, and gelling it down. So, you won't hear much more of me talking until a little later. So... <laughs> Oh my god, look at those curls. Yes. Ooh, hey, okay, I see you, sis. Yes. Do you guys see how slick, I said slick. <laughs> Do you guys see how slick my ponytail is? Like, for real. Okay, so this hair is Cuban Twist. It's, um, I cut it in half and then I brushed it out so it could be a little bit more poofier. And then I took my scrunchie and kind of like looped it and so it can be like a ponytail like um you know like a hanging ponytail <laughs> 
you don't want to put this on too tight you just want to put it on twice because obviously the bun is already tight in itself and make sure that the hair matches perfectly to your hair type um, mine is a little wavy so I just chose um, the Cuban twist It's not as coarse as the Cuban twist obviously but it definitely matches the wave pattern so in order to secure this bun I am using the loose Barbie pins um, I prefer those over the hard ones because honestly those hurt so bad like they literally give you a headache within the first minute of you having the bin so the loose pony um, loose uh, Bobby pants really really <laughs> Bobby pants are preferred so you just basically customize it to the way you like it um, I'm that's what I'm doing right now trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work you can make this smaller bigger uh, skinnier whichever way you prefer but this is just how I like it so here's the final look and she is flawless honey if you want to see how I uh, got this makeup look then you may click the link above and head over to that uh, video right now. And I thank you guys for watching. Bye.